All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashai, Bahashem Rechahakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful elect. So, Brother Isar, you with the Pittsburgh and UMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashai, Bahashem Rechahakodash. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. All right, and you know, this is just a sign of the times to come. All right, which we're already entering into those days. Okay, you know, the scriptures tell us that, you know, uh, uh, well, one one scripture that comes to mind is in second Edges, you know, it says victuals. I'll get it. I'm going to get it. Right. There's a point I want to get out of it, right? We'll close all this. Let's just see what comes up when I type in victuals, KJV. Se uh, second Ezra 16 and 21, which the point ain't about the food, right? Uh, second Ezra 16, 21 says, Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth, sore famine, and great confusion. All right, so that's one aspect, you know. That there'll be things going on, okay, and people would, you know, have this uh, idea that things are okay. Meanwhile, evils are growing, okay? Uh, boom. Yeah, verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. You know, so there's going to be a sword. Now, I want to get this other one too, right? Second Edges 15 and 19 says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Now, we understand that, you know, this is Jacob versus Esau from what it looks like. All right, Jake, you know, basically uh, hit a lick on, on Esau. He followed him. He watched his patterns. All right, and he got him for his money. Which, like I said, you're going to see a lot more of this happen. You're going to see a lot more ra racial tension, okay, coming on the planet Earth. And, you know, it is what it is. People want to try to say the media is doing it. No, yeah. How about Shemi Awashai is doing it? All right. Let me stop this from spinning because it's spinning. Um, get a precept. Right. Come on. I'm going to type it in. And every so often when I'm doing a lesson, things go this route where it's not loading. So, yeah, I'm just going to finish the lesson verbatim, right? So, like, yeah. Scripture say, think that I come to bring peace. I tell you nay, but rather a sword. Scripture say he also came to bring division. Matthew 24 tells you, okay, Yahweh Shah said, look, a nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. These are the beginning of sorrows. You know, and, uh, you know, I saw different things, you know, uh, I had dreams, my wife had dreams of different things, which you know to be biblical. You know, we try to filter, you know, the scriptures tell us not to chase after a dream, you know, but when there's something biblical that happens in that dream, I can't help but to relate it to the scriptures and say how this thing may possibly happen in some form or fashion, right? So one of the dreams that my wife had was that uh, Jake was going to begin to basically, uh, you know, well, actually, sh scriptures say who shall rouse them up, right? So we know that the two thirds are going to rise up against Esau Edom at some point, okay? This is, we could just take it purely scripturally, all right? And then if we just read what we read about, you know, a man having no pity upon his neighbor. Well, you know, Jake is going to rise against Jake, too. You know what I'm saying? And shall not pity their neighbors because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. All right. But, you know. Uh, see, this been this type of stuff been happening for Jake against Jake. You know, black on black so-called crime. All right. But now it's getting to the point where Jake don't have the money. 
So they're going to turn on Esau because Esau is the one with the bread, right? You know, so this is just a sign of the times that we're in, right? Is that, you know, more and more uh, robberies, break ins. I've seen a, uh, seen a video of a church, you know, that basically said they was broken into, the TVs got stole, and they stole the bacon out the fridge, which I felt like was such a, you know, was such a. It was it was it was like irony. I don't know if I'm using the word irony correctly, but it was ironic to me, or it was uh, you know, quite interesting to me that they stole the bacon out the refrigerator of the church. How you a church with bacon? Unless that's beef bacon, you going off, man. Unless it's beef or turkey bacon, and we, you know, these was Edomite looking people. They more than likely was Edomites, but even if they wasn't, you know, they had they they, they claimed to have a fridge full of bacon, and that's all that was in that fridge was bacon. You know, and it's no wonder, man, you know, because, you know, you probably got Jake probably sprinkled in among them, you know, and you're feeding them pork. Right. So, you know, I'm not I don't feel sympathy for your church. If you had pork bacon in that refrigerator and your shit got stolen, you know, hey, what am I supposed to, you know, feel sympathy for your bacon got stolen? I don't give a shit. You shouldn't have had no bacon in your church. Right. Which, you know, we know those Harley houses. Ain't the house of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the true living power, the true God of Israel, anyway. Right? You know, so expect, you know, these type of things to happen more and more in the future. As they said, they followed them to what three or four different stops over 30 minutes. They was following this man to try to see where he was going, you know, and you can kind of feel, you know, uh, uh the, the the spirit of covetousness, you know, happening. You know, today I was walking the dog. And I had several people, you know, stop and compliment. It was one guy stopped his whole car just to tell me how he thought the dog was attractive, you know. And that's just the type of activity that, you know, I, you know, being having been in the streets, that I watch out for of, you know, okay, how, how good you, does he look good enough to steal type shit? You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we, uh, we have faith, right? But we also are not ignorant, okay? Uh, 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 in the scripture say, be ye not ignorant. Of anything in a matter great or small you know and dogs do get stolen you know things get stolen right so you know these are just things to, to think about you know if you occupy merchandise of any kind you know one of the possibilities that's why the scriptures say what lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where thieves may you know break in and steal and, and moth and rust doth corrupt right because if we, you know if your treasure is set upon this earth Hey, you you set up for failure, man. You set up for a disappointment, right? I didn't even put on my uh. It's probably gonna stop it. Let me see what it's stopping. All right, come on. No, it's still going. Okay, I put on my do not disturb. So anyway, you setting yourself up for a disappointment if your if your heart is set on you know things of this world, man. Period. You know, which is kind of like going in there. Elder Yashawama's lesson, you know, of us being gods, immortals in mortal flesh, you know. You know, we can't uh, be taken out of our zone by things of this world, okay? We can't allow ourselves to be taken off of our pathway, you know, when something happens to the these earthly possessions, no matter what they be. Okay, so that's just a mind, you know, a mindset check for us. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, man, stuff like this is going to happen. All right. Oh, you know, and I'm reminded of uh, what was it, man? It was something I saw. Um, yeah, Jake Jake tried to rob an Uber driver, man. Hey, things is getting waxed and worse and worse. You know, we're spiritual weathermen. You know, as we look at the climate of the people, you know, the people's mindsets. And, you know, you see Jake on the rise doing certain crimes not even and i ain't gonna say esau ain't doing it but you know what gets shows in the media okay what gets shows in the media is so-called blacks latinos and native americans are primarily you know so-called blacks committing crimes all right and i seen a jake hop in the car with an uber driver hop in the front seat pull out a gun and tell him look give me your wallet all right and in the comment boards you had all type of kill that nigger monkey kill him you know they was finding different ways to uh to say look man Take this nigga off the planet, you know what I'm saying? Which hey, ultimately that's up to you. How about you? I was shy if that man gets judged. You know the dude, the, the the Jake didn't shoot him, but he did try to rob him. You know, and so 
You know, that's up to the Lord whether he shows mercy and that dude repent. That's up to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But two thirds will be destroyed. So if that dude don't repent, he's going to die. You know, as the scriptures say, do you think the Gal was it the Galatians or the Galileans? I think it was the Galatians. The ones who had the tower fall on them. We say, you think they were sinners above above uh, measure? You say, I tell you nay, but except you repent, you shall likewise perish. So, you know what I'm saying? If them dudes don't repent, you know, whoever doesn't repent, then the Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to destroy that individual. So, yeah, I just thought I would uh, do a quick lesson on that, man. You know, just... You know, which which ultimately Jake is so desperate that he end up showing his face. You know, ultimately the Lord does these different things. You know, and these people don't don't get away with it, man. You know, like I was saying in my last lesson, the Lord confounds you. You know, I think he even took one of his gloves off. You know, there's certain things where it's like you, you you've gone you've gone through the trouble of wearing one glove, but when you're touching all these things in the car, you don't got your other glove on, right? So ultimately, you're leaving your prints. You know, it's just the Lord shows you all the time how he confounds people. You know, when a person leaves DNA evidence. OK, that's the Lord. You know, and, and normally they're careful. That's the Lord, you know, saying, look, I'm, I'm sick of you. All right. And it's time for you to get caught. At the end of the day. Right. So the Lord got these people in the trick bag. But. um, Hey, just be mindful. That's why the scriptures say what? <clears throat> haste, haste ye to flee. From those evil times, okay? We got to haste to flee up out of here. We can't get comfortable, you know what I'm saying? Because the thing is, if you have substance, you can't you can't, you can't, can't put your trust. The scriptures say to put not your trust in uncertain riches. There's no certainty that you'll keep these things, you know? You you, you, you got cash. You, yeah, you know for certain that that shit's going to be worthless eventually. Because they're coming out with the, uh, the MOTB system, which is a digital currency system. Whether you other camps want to acknowledge it or not, right? The MOTB is the micro C hip. Okay. The RFID technology, man, is linked directly to the MOTB, man. The Marco L Bisto. Right? So if you people wanna, you know, play pity pat and all that shit and go ahead and get your congregation fucked up. Don't take the mark of the beast, man. Straight up plain and simple, man. Which is the micro C hip technology. Alright, the RFID NFC technology. Don't take that. Because the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahushua will destroy you for taking that 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 chip in any part of your body, man. All right, the Lord ain't with that. You see? <clears throat> All right. So, hey, man, at the end of the day, you know, be mindful, be circumspect. The scriptures say, "Walk ye circumspect, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil." All right. Yeah, there's things that you're going to handle there. There's things you're going to have to manage, especially if you have a family. Yeah, that's the yeah, that happens. Right. But at the end of the day, you got to filter everything through the scripture. Everything that happens to you, you should be thinking about it in the spiritual mindset. The scriptures literally say the spiritual man judges all things. So when you're going through a situation or something happens or whatever the case is, you're supposed to say, hmm, what's the Lord trying to teach me in this situation? What if I was to look at this from a spiritual eye? A spiritual aspect how what can i gather through this through this uh looking at this spiritually everything we do everything we think you know and it's, it's cliche because the scriptures say you know not the scriptures but christians have this wwjd what would you know what would jesus do but we should we should still ask ourselves what would you how would i do he is he not our example okay is he not the one we look to it says looking to uh, uh, the author and finisher of our faith Okay Who through who through contradiction of sinners He suffered the contradiction of sinners He suffered unto blood He suffered unto death That's our example How did he teach the brothers What's he, What did he do towards the brethren What did he do You know what I mean Like how, his wisdom that he used When he you know The things that he perceived He knew when the Pharisees was trying to kill him Sometimes he got out of dodge Sometimes he you know, would engage in a wisdom battle with them and, 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 and trick them into either revealing themselves or leaving them be. There were so many things that Yahweh Shah did, you know, that we can uh, hope to try to become, become like, right? Or, or yeah, you know, to be Hamashiach like, or as they, or as they would say, Christ like, right? 
But the scriptures tell us that. The scriptures say who he foreknew, he also predestined to be likened unto his son. All right? So we, we're, we're going to be, if we're a part of the elect, conformed into that image. Right? Conformed to the image of Christ, of Hamashiach. Right? Is what the scripture says. So. Um, yeah, just be circumspect. You know what I'm saying? Don't walk foolishly. You know, the scriptures tell us that we should understand what the will of the Heavenly Father is. <clears throat> so we need to inquire of the scriptures. You know, what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh would have us to do in these different situations. And just really, you know, just check ourselves. Line ourselves up with that. So that we may move forward accordingly to the perfect will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh To the best of our humanly ability being in this wicked flesh, man. So with that, I'm gonna give. I'm gonna go ahead and give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rechah Hakodesh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the whole elect. With that, I'm gonna say Shalom. Why Bible Ball Shalom. <laughs>